Uh, I think their zone, you know, gave us some trouble. I think we weren't moving the ball. And, you know, just, just not penetrating, being aggressive enough. We've been kind of conservative. And I think that was causing some struggles scoring-wise. They had uh, 18 fast break points today. They really got out well in transition. Was it just a matter of not very good transition defense on you guys' part? I think it was uh, just we were taking – Bad shots, and they were leading to just uh, easy breaks for them. And then our transition defense, I didn't have time to get get prepared. Maybe if you could take an early look at the tournament coming up on Thursday now and some of the things you're feeling that could do between now and then. Uh, I think we just got to go back to practice, you know, get back to to our identity, you know, playing hard and, you know, go, just outworking the other team. And I think that's going to get us right back on track. It's been kind of a rough month for you guys. I mean, you've played some really tough teams here in conference. Where's the confidence of this team at right now? Uh, I think I, I, mean, I think we're gonna get back to our identity. You know, a couple of practices before the first game. Um, you know, whoever we play, we're gonna we're gonna be ready, and you know, we're gonna come out full force. This time of the year, it's important to obviously recognize the. Um, Great job our, our seniors have done. Obviously, Ron being a walk-on, joining our team this year, he's been a great addition to the program. Um, and then uh, with Nick and TJ, you know, two guys who signed with us and committed to us, you know, the spring after, or the spring that we got the job. And, and um, you know, we talk to our guys all the time about, you know, the three areas of your life as men, as students, and as players, and growing in those three areas and transforming and putting yourself in a better situation. Those two guys have done an unbelievable job. They really have. Both will graduate in May. Um, both have become better teammates, better leaders. Um, you know, TJ's done a great job as a captain for us this year. Um, you know, Nick's role has changed dramatically. Um, and he's had some down days, as anybody would. Uh, but he's handled it probably better than a lot of guys. And uh, one thing that I think you see every day, the progress of Michael Durer uh, has a direct correlation to Nick every day in practice. And Nick's very good at preparation and understanding the nuances of our system. And he's done a great job in helping Mike as a freshman. Those two guys have sacrificed a lot for the program. And, and uh, we wouldn't be making the progress that we are as a program without those two. So. Very, very appreciative. It's always a tough day, and you make it tougher when you don't play well. Um, give SMU credit. Um, they played better than we did today. Uh, defensively, we weren't nearly as good as we need to be. Um, offensively, you know, when we got stagnant against the zone, that impacted our defense due to the fact of either turnover or uh, non-aggressive shot, and that, that really hurt us. Um, and they're explosive offensively. Very talented team. Very talented team. Um, you know, and uh, we just were on our heels offensively and defensively. And unfortunately, it's part of the process when you don't play well. As proud as I was on, uh, in New Orleans about, you know, our guys responding to the challenges of with LaQuincy not playing and, and um, you know, playing in an environment that, you know, can't really get up for and different things like that. Our guys responded very well at Tulane, and we did not uh, respond as well today, and that's you know that's disappointing. So our guys have responded all year long and bounced back from times where we didn't play as well. Um, and I have all the confidence in the world and expect them to to do that to open the uh, the tournament up on Thursday. Stretch in the back end of the first half where they converted five or six fast breaks. Yeah. The rest of the way. Yep. Talk about that. Yeah, so two things. One, we had some just very sloppy ball handling, you know, tentative ball handling, uh, passes, you know, fake a pass high and then throw it high, you know, which makes no sense, but we did it multiple times. Um, and then, you know, then we had some shots and we didn't shoot them with the aggressiveness that you need to shoot them with. Um, I thought the first 12 minutes and then the last seven minutes was the way we were supposed to attack their zone and 
so forth. And then in between, we didn't do a very good job of it. And our transition defense, is, we're, we're going to have to tighten that up because the last two games, it has not been good. It has not been good. Now, we're a team that goes to the offensive glass. We had 17 offensive rebounds tonight, I think 20 the other night. Um, but that puts the pressure on your transition defense. Uh, and one of the things uh, our, our system allows us to send those three because we do a good job of stopping their transition at the initial point of it, and that's usually LaQuincy. Um, and then subbing in, and then you have um, X. Well, we don't have LaQuincy. So, and then some of our rotations. Now, David's in a different spot where usually he's supposed to be back, or TJ's usually going to the glass. Now he's got to get back. It, it, it's hurt us the last two games. Uh, but it was, you know, usually those type of transition baskets occur because of poor offense. And that's exactly what happened. Were you not attacking the zone well initially or just making bad decisions in the zone? Well, I mean, you know, the first few possessions they went to it, we attacked it well. You know, we attacked it well. Uh, and then, then we didn't. And then we did. You know, um, you know we're, we're, I don't – six threes, does that give us the, the season record? Yeah, yeah. It does. And we're not a good shooting team. So I don't know what was going on around there before, you know. Uh, because, but we go six to 23. You got to make some, some jump shots too against his own. Um, but we didn't do a great job of attacking it. You know, we didn't do a great job of attacking it. Um, and again, everybody's kind of one position off a little bit, but, uh, I thought in this, in the second half, the last eight minutes with the drives to the basket, putting Rayshon in the middle helped. He's a little more aggressive. He's able to, you know, catch the ball and make a play. Um, in retrospect, should have probably done that earlier. You guys have just continued to seem to miss open baskets and open looks. Uh, are they rushing things, or is they just not knocking them down? Um, yeah, I mean, we do, we we got some good looks, just didn't make didn't make them. You know, maybe a combination of rushing them. Uh, you know. Um, you know, not being physical enough around the basket a little bit. We had some plays around the basket where we, we got to, you know, you got to finish those. Not aggressive enough, not assertive enough. Um, like I said, a little, a little tentative, a little, you know, unless you're, you're, you're going to score with your whole heart, sometimes that ball ain't going in. Um, and um, I, I thought you saw that today. Coach, you mentioned not having Q uh, out there. Um, What's the latest? With his uh, he went. He, you know, he, he, you know. Today was a day to do some more basketball. So he went through some stuff this morning with us, and then he went through the warm-ups. Um, we'll see how it responds tomorrow. You know, we'll see how it responds tomorrow. So he hasn't, you know, hasn't had a full practice in three weeks now. And last week we, we completely shut him down. So for him to, to to play on Thursday, for him to be effective, he's got to get a, you know. Uh, a good day in tomorrow and then two good days of practice before I, I put him out there. You know, I think um, he's a tough enough kid where he'll play. Um, but at the same time, we need him to be effective. And I, I don't need him getting frustrated out there because, you know, he's not able to, you know, he's not in rhythm. You know, he's a rhythm player. And the only way to do that is through practice and reps. And he just hasn't got those the last three weeks since the first um, Central Florida game. How do you feel about your club going into tournament play? I mean, this uh, last stretch of season, you've had a killer schedule. But, yeah. Um, just how do you feel? Yeah, I, I mean, you got to take a step back. And, and um, I mean, we're at 19 wins. We had something that, that would have been really nice to accomplish today, so I'm disappointed in that. Um, but I'm not sure anybody thought we'd ever be able to accomplish that this year. You know what I mean? Um, our guys have been great all year long. I, I, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm disappointed. You know, I'm a competitive guy. I'm ticked off right now because we didn't perform well. And we have all year long. We haven't maybe always played great, but we competed and we played hard and we did a lot of good things. And, you know, going into today, we lost on the road in the last minute at UConn on a last second shot at Tulsa. And every other loss in the league was to the top four teams in the league. You know what I mean? So, uh, and give, again, give SMU credit because they beat us today. Um, 
So, you know, when you take a step back and see where you're at, we've done a lot of good things. You know, we've done a lot of good things, and we've we, we've made some great progress in the program. But at the at the same time, you know, this I always say this is the, one of the most difficult spots because you're good enough to compete, but you're not sure you're just not quite good enough to win the games. And it's frustrating because you're right there and you can see it and you know what you got to do. Uh, but that takes time. As I said, the, the building process takes time. It's every single day. Um, and there's, it's not an, an even flow. You know, there's ups and downs in it. But our guys have been good, like I said, in responding. Going into the tournament, we've never won a game in the tournament. This program has never won a game in the, in the AAC tournament. So we got a chance to do a, something again that would be special and unique. Uh, for this team. And every time you do something like that, five game winning streak, 19 wins, maybe, how many can you get? All those different things. All that does is start building on the foundation of what we're trying to, what we're trying to build and what we're trying to get done. And it makes the next step not any easier, but at least you, you have confidence and you know you've done some great things. Um, you know, and in a perfect world, you, you win 20 games in the regular season, and you become the only team in the history of the program to win 20 regular season games. You know, uh, but we we didn't do that. So now you need to take a step back, recalibrate, and get ready for Thursday.